Hello, everybody, and good day. This is Fred with One Or CCTV of New England, and we are coming at you today with a quick video um, on how to place video feed from a security camera. Um, you know, Dawa, Hikvision, uh, Access, any security camera, um, and use the RTSP uh, broadcast um, to display that on your website. A lot of hotels, marinas, campgrounds, places like that are starting to put live feeds um, on their website. So when guests, um, potential guests visit their website, um, you know, they can see the beach or at a marina, they can see the slips and, and the ocean and the sunset and stuff like that. Um, some people just want to look at their boats. Um, so yeah, we're seeing it incorporated in business a lot. Um, and we actually had a subscriber bring this up. He has a client that, that wants him to do this and it's not that hard. Um, so we're going to have a video and we're going to show you how to get that RTSP code from the camera, how to use a uh, VLC media player um, to play that code, and also how to create a HTML code um, that you can paste on your website and, and display to feed. It's gonna be a neat video and we're gonna cover it right now. All right, this is a blue collar channel. Um, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, there's a red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Uh, please subscribe to our channel so you can get future content. Um, and also like the video if it's useful to you. This video, uh, was created due to a subscriber comment. Um, so leave us comment, um, if you have ideas on future content. We love to see those. Um, so yes, the first thing we're going to do in this process is get our IP camera or NVR um, online. Okay. We don't have time in this video to cover how to do that. Um, there is a link above on how to properly, um, hook up an IP camera and network it. Okay. So at this point, the camera is online and what we need to do is find its IP address using a, um, a configuration tool. Um, Hick vision has SADP. There's a link above for that tool to help you find your camera on your network. Um, Dawa also has a configuration tool. There's another link. There's a lot of links in this video. There's another link, uh, above right now, um, for the Dawa config tool. So you want to download those resources. Then we're going to locate our camera. Okay. Once we load up, locate our camera, um, we can verify the RTSP port, um, is correct, um, and begin this process. So let's get into that right now. All right. As you can see at this point, we have the um, DAWA config tool pulled up. Um, we have located the camera's uh, IP address on our LAN. It's 192.168.0.37. You see that right here. Um, if, again, if you don't have this config tool for the DAWA cameras, um, there's a link above right now, uh, a discovery tool to find your camera. Okay. We're also putting a link right up now. Um, the SADP tool for Hikvision cameras to allow you to locate those cameras on the network. But again, this is Dawa, and we see the camera is at 192.168.0.37. So the beautiful thing about Dawa cameras is we can use any browser um, to pull them up. There's no plugins. So a lot of the Hikvision cameras, you have to use Old School Explorer and install all these plugins, and it's kind of a hassle. Um, that's one of the reasons that I have switched to Dawa. Okay, so let's pull up our camera. On the network, once you do that, uh, it's going to ask you for your credentials. Um, you set up your credentials when you activated the camera. Once again, there's a video above on the activation process. We don't have time to cover that today. No, we don't. Okay, so we're going to log into the camera. Um, and this is just something haphazardly set up in the uh, living room. Um, but what we're going to do is get the RTSP port. Um, so to do that, we're going to go to our network settings. Okay. Just like this, we're going to pick port. And right here, you see our RTSP port, um, is five, five, four. Okay. That's very important. We need to verify that's five, five, four, because that's going to be used in our RTSP code. Okay. That's step one. Now, step two. Okay. Step two is going to be using, um, the DAWA. RSTP code um, to locate that camera, okay? In order to do that, you are going to have to use a tool called VLC Media Player, okay? Um, there is going to be a future video 
on this tool, how to use it, and how to download it. Okay. If you go to the read more tab below um, in the description of this video, you will see a link to download VLC Media Player. And you're going to have to do that um, to create this code. Okay. So if you haven't done that, stop this video and do that now. Um, but I'm going to open up Media Player. Okay. And when we open it, we are going to come here to the Media tab. Okay. And you're going to see a bunch of options, kids, a bunch of options. We want to open the network stream. Okay. Now, this is what I want you to pay attention to. This is the RSTP code. I'm sorry, RTSP code um, for the DAWA cameras. Okay. So we have RTSP um, forward slash forward slash admin. Okay. Admin is the password. I'm sorry, the username. Uh, for the camera. Okay. And then we have a colon and we have the password. Okay. Don't you guys be sharing my password. Okay. My password for this camera is when 2017. Okay. We're on the LAN right now. So this is our internal IP address, the IP address of the camera on our network. Okay. And we found that with the discovery tool. Okay. So we've got the username, the password. We have at the IP address. Okay. Of the camera colon 554 is the port and then you're just going to put forward slash cam forward slash real monitor question mark channel equals one and then subtype equals one okay that's the stream i have cut and pasted this formula um, in the link below remember when you use this you are going to have to customize it for your camera you're going to have to put in your username your password the IP address on your LAN that you found using the discovery tool. Um, but after that, this portion, cam, real monitor, channel, blah, blah, blah. That's going to be the same for everybody, okay? So this part on the left is your custom uh, RTSP link, okay? Lots of acronyms, but it's really not that hard if you think about it, right? RTSP colon forward slash forward slash. This is going to be your username colon password at the IP address forward slash, and then we're just going to paste in this part. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. So now that we have that link, we can actually test it out. Okay. We can test it out by hitting play. Okay. And if this is working, it's going to play that same camera feed. Okay. That we saw when we logged into the camera directly. And again, it's in the living room looking at a wall. It's not much of a picture. I apologize, but that's not the purpose of the video. So we're going to leave the camera, okay, open a browser, and we're going to copy this link, okay? And now we're going to hit play. And when we play, if we did this right, and this, if this code is right, we're going to see the same display that we saw when we logged into the camera. And there it is, you know, along with the link. Okay, beautiful. We're also going to verify this by going back to the browser, going back to the browser, and we're going to paste the RTSP code here. Okay. Some web developers, depending on who you are using, um, can incorporate this RTSP code uh, into your website um, using Flash Player um, or VLC um, without an HTML code, okay? So this is just making sure that that works, okay? Um, we'll say okay, and we should see the camera. I haven't tried this, so I hope we don't. Uh, it works. Okay, perfect. Um, another piece of information. We are on the internal network, our local LAN. So we are using the local LAN address. If you are going to do this on your website, okay, this is very important. You need to use the static IP address of the facility, not the LAN, okay? To get that, all you have to do is open a browser and Google, what is my IP? And there it is, 173.40. 491.83. That's my IP address, my static IP address from my internet service provider. So if I want to pull this camera up outside of the network, off of the network, remotely, I'm going to use this number. If I try it now while I'm on the LAN, 
it's not going to work. I can't connect to myself. So when you give this RTSB address to your uh, web provider, um, you are going to have to make sure you give them this IP address, your static IP address. Um, and of course, for them to pull it up when they're in VLC, right? Or if they're using a browser, um, instead of the 192.168.0.37 here, um, we're going to put the static IP address instead, right? Just like that. Uh, and that's how we access it remotely. You will, for remote viewing, have to also port forward port 554 uh, in your modem or router. Um, there's another link above, lots of links above today, uh, a link above um, showing you how to port forward um, in your modem or router um, because it, this process remotely is not going to work without port forward. Okay, now that we have that, let me share with you the HTML code. We're going to have another video um, next week that's going to be released on Friday on how to um, plug in that HTML code, the web code, uh, onto your website to display this camera. Um, I don't want this to be a super long video and there's a lot to it, so we're gonna break it up into two segments. First segment is the RTSP uh, part, which your web service provider will probably be able to use to display the camera. But if they can't, or if you wanna do it yourself, which a lot of people do, um, you can do the HTML code yourself. And that's gonna be the second video. Um, we're gonna do that on a GoDaddy uh, platform, okay? Um, but to show you, um, the HTML code, it's really not that hard. It's using um, this information. Um, we'll go over that right now. All right, kids, we've used this resource before, um, but we are at dawawiki.com. Um, there is a link um, for this page in the description of the video. Um, this is a great tool by uh, Dawa, and it walks you through a lot of stuff. Um, but what we're here for um, is a example. Um, we already went over to the, we already covered the RTSP URL. Okay, we're good on that. We pulled it up in um, VLC Media Player. We tested it in the browser. We know that's good. Um, what we need is a is an HTML code. Okay, and this overwhelms people. It looks super confusing. Um, it's coding. Okay. Uh, it is confusing, but that was made it easier for us um, because what they're telling us, okay, um, is, oh, I'm getting Facebook messages from my football coach. Um, so yes, what we're going to do here is cut and paste this code um, into our um into our website, okay? And again, that's a process and it's gonna be another video. Um, but basically, um, anywhere you see this value RTSP, okay? That is going to be our link, our RTSP link, okay? You see it there, you see it down here. Um, basically, you use this example um, and you customize it, um, just the lines with the RTSP key um, to your, um, RTSP code, okay? Um, and again, it's a little bit of a process. It's not rocket science, but we're gonna cover it in another video. We're gonna show it working um, on a website. And again, there's a link for this HTML code um, below. Hopefully this was a useful video. Again, we've covered the basics, right? Um, if you've subscribed to this channel, thank you. There's been, I think, 120 new subscribers this month. Um, we've covered the basics so far. Okay, now we want to explore things like this and share things like this um, with you guys. And the only way that I come up with those ideas, the only reason that I can create these videos, um, the purpose of the videos is from the subscribers. So give me comments. Say, hey, can you make a video on this? Can you make a video on that? Um, and I will. Uh, again, we're in football season right now. This is the first video actually I've done in three weeks, I believe. We're super busy right now. Um, but football season is going to end. Um, I'm a Pee Wee coach, so we're busy during football season. Um, in the winter months, we're going to make a lot more videos, and your comments are useful in that. Um, we hope you have a good weekend, and we'll see you in the field.